gangster with my health. Um, good to see you, brother, first and foremost. Good to see you too, brother. Definitely, definitely. Um, how are you today, sir? Yo, I'm awesome. I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm excited about this conversation that we're about to have. And man, I'm happy for everybody who's joining us. Yeah. I definitely feel the same. So welcome, people. Like I said, this is Jay Allen. This is Gangster With My Help, where we talk to everyday people about maybe some struggles they're going through that they have gotten through, or we talk to an expert on a topic. A lot of times I'll have, I like to have the best of both worlds, and I feel like we got that today, okay? We got this brother. Um, <clears throat> um, I, I was just, I'm trying to figure out how I kind of got in tune with your page, and I think I was just scrolling one day, and then I saw you. You know, you'd be working it out. You know, you'd be doing your thing. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, I was like pretty inspired. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, let me follow this brother. You know, one thing that I noticed most about you that I like is your consistency. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's, I think that's really important when it comes to pretty much anything is a person being very consistent for what it is mm -hmm. that you do. Okay. Especially if you're trying to get others to join on and to, you know, believe in what you're doing, whatever you want to call it, you know? So consistency is definitely, um, is key. So that's how of I ran course. across the page. I was inspired. And I told myself, I'll give, uh, give, give you a follow. Once I gave you a follow, I mean, you ain't letting me down. You working it out every day. So I brought you on to Gangsta With My Health to share your story. Brother, I appreciate uh, the fact that you gave me a follow. You know, that's the, that's the social currency these days, so that follow is like Really, gold. really quick, can you hear me over my AC? Can you hear me pretty well? I can hear you, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, can you great, hear me? Great. Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, uh, it must be burning up down there, but I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, thank you for the follow, brother. I really appreciate it. I know the social currency right now is a follow, so that's golden. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, man, it's been it's been a minute. I've been at this for about a year and a half right now, probably just coming straight in, you know, into the pandemic. And it was just a few things. I had to make some changes. You know, I don't know if you want me to jump right into it, but yeah, you know. Well, if, before you get on to how you made your changes, uh, let's talk a little bit about just health growing up, how you viewed mm -hmm. health, how were your eating habits, you know, early on in life. Tell a little people a little bit about your story. Let's start from well, the beginning. Well, if you look at my profile, you'll see that I have a Haitian flag on my profile. And uh, okay. my parents, both of my parents are Haitian. So when it comes to uh, healthy food and good eating, that was something that was consistent and constant in my home. So there were a lot of vegetables, a lot of okay. meat, a lot of rice, you know, those type of things. Um, and, you know, when you're a kid and you're eating, eating that food, you know, you really just want McDonald's, uh, Burger King, or right. <laughs> what, everybody, what everybody else is eating. I remember... Uh, the kids used to make fun of me in the neighborhood saying that all I ate was rice all the time. And, and Haitians mm -hmm. weren't too popular, so they used to call me Mexican because they didn't know what Haitians were, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so right. as I got older, um, you know, and I started making my own decisions with respect to my diet, I would just eat a lot of fast food, uh, whatever tasted good to me, uh, not thinking anything about it. And, you know, you know when you're in your 20s, you're not really thinking about what you're eating. You know, you're just, just doing what you like. I'm eating what I like. Right. Um, and so eating according to your that, taste buds. Exactly. Eating according to my taste buds. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and essentially that's been my journey. You know, there have been a few times here and there uh, based on what I was studying and these type of things where I would take a break from meat, you know, but it never lasted long. And I never really took any real uh, investment uh, I mean, never really made any real investment into into changing my uh, diet because, I mean, I was good. A hamburger tastes delicious. <laughs> Ribs right. on Memorial Day are great. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know what right. I mean? I really wasn't thinking about that like that. So, I mean, that's pretty much my background when it comes to my diet early on. Okay, okay. Real quick, we got a comment from Drakeford Ford. Said black folks need to stop eating... Uh, I think all the sodium, it's like battery acid corrosive. Yes, it can be, definitely. And then, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, the thing about eating, he's ta talking about counting, like the sodium content, it's, it's three ways you got to look at it. 
So first you have to look at it as what it already, the sodium that it already has in it. What I mean by mm -hmm. that is like, let's say if you take <clears throat> um, some sort of boxed food, rice or roni, anything like that, it already mm -hmm. has a sodium content on there. So it already has salt in there. So the second thing you got to be aware of, then you're talking about how much salt you're going to put on it. Because most mm -hmm. people like to season it up more, you know. And then third is we have to think about the condiments. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of different factors when it comes to that. So, yeah, that was all definitely a great comment. All the and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Crystal Sherelle in the building. What up, what up, what up? <clears throat> All right, so keep on, keep on going, man. Um, talk a little bit about less. I guess we can kind of go into your story <clears throat> of like right. change and all that type of stuff. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm always excited to share this story only because I know that there are other people who are having this same type of struggle. So mm -hmm. we come into the close of 2019. So I come into the close of 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, I was work, you know, working uh, in corporate America managing two locations. I was working for, for a bank. I'm working for a bank. And my stress level was ridiculously high, like uh, to the point where, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't know whether I was coming or going. And at one point I had a panic attack. It was just really high stress, right? And right. Uh, uh, along that time, I, had, I came across a gentleman, um, his brother's name is Eric. I, his, his last name escapes me right now. However, okay. uh, he he provided me with some information on doing a juice cleanse, right? Okay. So I did a juice cleanse for 21 days coming <clears throat> in to uh, 2020, which was probably one of the most valuable things that I've ever done. So essentially, I was juicing a lot of kale and just like this mixture that was specific to me and my makeup for 21 okay. days and then eat, eating one meal a day based off of that. And what I found from that cleanse was that my energy was through the roof, right? Mm. And the advantage of, you know, I, after the 21 day cleanse, I think I lost three pounds, right? Coming into 2020. And what I found was that that was probably one of the best things I did coming into 2020 because COVID hit us in 2020, right? So I, mm -hmm. I think early on before the word spread that it had happened, I think it hit me, right? Because I, you know, I got this cold and everything, mm -hmm. but it didn't hit me. It didn't hit me rough because I did a cleanse previous to that. So I'm like, okay, that's great. I got through it and I'm still working. And I remember going to work one day, I was about 360 pounds, right? And mm -hmm. I, have, I would park in this parking garage at my job and I remember getting to the stairs and being disgusted that I had to walk up the stairs. <laughs> so in that moment, I knew something had to change, right? Mm -hmm. um, the anxiety was high uh, because now COVID's in the world. Um, you know, I'm, I'm losing breath. I'm having an issue tying my shoes. I'm not looking good just from a vanity perspective. And I'm feeling some way about it. It's, it's affecting me mentally and physically and spiritually just it's affecting me all over. So I still didn't make that decision until after close to June, end of in June, July. And I made a decision <laughs> one day. I said, look, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a walk. Right. So uh, if you're from Chicago, you know, we got the lakefront here in Chicago. So it's always a scenic walk. So I decided to go take a walk and I went to an area called Promontory Point. So you okay. walk through a tunnel and then you, and then you go around a circle and then you come down and you walk this trail. I made the walk around the circle and then I made it like a few steps up to a tree and I couldn't do it anymore. Luckily it started raining, right? <laughs> so it started raining, I'm breathing hard, I'm sweating. And I'm like, man, I can't believe I'm so, I'm so tired. So once I did that, I shared with my people on social media, which is why social media is so powerful. I shared mm -hmm. with my people, I was like, look, I'm gonna make this walk every morning at 5.30 in the morning. If you want to join me, come out and join me and we'll do, you know, we'll, we'll make this walk. And my brother, um, Scott Carlton, he joined me the very next day. I didn't expect anybody to come out, <laughs> but he, the brother joined me the very next day. And then uh, my sister, uh, Sandra uh, Washington, came out and joined us the next day. And then a few other people joined us and it, and it started this thing uh, that we created called the Tribe Called Fit. So... You know, we're doing the walks and everything. 
And now, mind you, it's it's the late summer, so now we're coming in the winter, and uh, you know, in Chicago, the winter comes fast. <laughs> so we get to uh, October, uh, end of October. Well, I mentioned this part. So in October, we decided to do no meat October. So we didn't eat any meat for October. And then November came, and so everybody is now tapering off. So now one person stopped coming walking, another person stopped coming, and I'm by myself, right? So November comes, it's snowing, and I make the decision like, okay, look, I'm going to start working out. A few years previous, I did um, a workout called Focus T25 by Shanti, and I just started working out, and I haven't stopped since then. And since then, since I mentioned I was at 350, Six three sixty. Since then, I've lost sixty pounds, and wow. I'm just continuing the journey. Right. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, thank that you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. That's a great story. And thank now, you. see, people, you heard him mention when he went on that fruit fast, he had all types of energy. I always tell you that the water from fruit is much better than regular H two O. Okay, water from fruit. It's the H three O two. And it's water, that's what we call living water. It's full of electricity, which your body needs. Mm -hmm. It um, provides a lot of nutrients, okay? <clears throat> so the fruit ultimately is the key to starting your healing. It's fruit, I say this all the time. Fruit, juicing, whether you're doing smoothies, fruit is, those are the cleansers. They come through and they cleanse the body. The vegetables are the builders. Now, uh, real quick, we got a few comments on here. Crystal Sherelle said, hey there, I go to the doctor today, and my blood pressure went down a little yesterday because of what I ate, but it's still up there, so I guess I need some meds to lower my blood pressure. Well, if you want to take the meds, that's on you, but understand your blood pressure is not going to go down significantly in one day. It took you time to get high blood pressure. It's going to take a little bit of time to, you know, for you to kind of beat it. You know what I mean? But I guarantee you this. If you give it, give it a couple weeks, okay? Give it a couple weeks or so of you eating right. It's not going to happen in just one day. If your blood pressure was sky high, and then you ate something good the next day to kind of lower it a little bit. Yeah, it's going to lower it a little bit, but it's not going to lower it uh, uh, um, in, in, a, in a big way. You know what I mean? You're going to have to maybe get more active. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to have to also just continue to eat right, period, point blank. It's just eating right. But like I said, it took you some time to get high blood pressure. It's going to take you a little bit of time to get rid of it, okay? Be patient with yourself. All right. Uh, Love Tisha 313 said, Gangsta Holistic healed my husband. We owe everything to your TikTok page. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. Thank you. I really do appreciate that, Tisha. I definitely appreciate that. That, that, that inspires me right there. What up to everybody who just joined the room? Uh, uh, yeah, she said, Crystal Sherelle has been up for six, seven years. Yeah. Yeah, he said, if you've been having high blood pressure for that long, I'm not going to say it's not going to take six, seven years for you to beat it, but it's going to definitely take more than one or two days for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. All right. So <clears throat> you got the tribe call fit. Um, you've been working out every single day. What is the, let, let me ask you, what is one of the biggest lessons you learned on this journey to fitness? One of the biggest lessons I've learned is that it isn't just about being physically fit. Um, all of the all of the aspects of our lives work in concert to help us become better individuals. So I Correct. say that to I say that to mention that being physically fit was one part of it, and then actually being in a space to where I can reconnect with God. I don't know, uh, you know, how where you are with that. Uh, reconnecting with God spiritually, and then also uh, getting to a space where I understand that mentally I need to heal. So what, when I when I mention that, I mean going to therapy, doing those mm -hmm. type of things, saying my prayers, and putting all those things together to become you hitting more it on the nose right it. now, though, brother. You hitting it on the nose because we're against the holistic. Anything we're talking about holistic, we're talking about everything as a whole. We're talking about if one is off then everything is off, okay? Yeah, we got to yes. have everything working like this. So I always say this. You can see a person walking down the street. Fellas, you can see a lady walking down the street. She gorgeous. She got the curves, boom. Ladies, you can see a fella walking down the street. He's got all these muscles, but they can still literally be sick, okay? Yes. <clears throat> because the mind, the mindset is not there. The mental capacity is not all the way there. 
spiritually, whatever it is that they do spiritually, they may be off a little bit. You know what I mean? So we want all of these things to come together as one. And there are certain things that we can do that. Right now we're talking about staying fit. We're talking about working out. But other things you can do is, as far as you are also meditating, breathing yep. exercise. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And we talk about high blood pressure. That is definitely one thing that can lower your blood pressure. It's sitting still and taking these deep breaths, letting them out, okay? You do that for 15, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, you're definitely going to lower your blood pressure, okay? We spend all this time throughout the day busy doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that, doing that. You're not breathing correctly, okay? You don't take no time to practice your breathing, okay? And ultimately, that's how you rejuvenate the cells and get everything working on one accord. Meditation is a big part of that, okay? Also, we talk about... <clears throat> affirmations training your mental right training your mental to accept that you are great okay speak it into existence yes don't speak it like it's gonna happen speak it like it's happening right now okay the universe Make deals with so. the present mm -hmm. okay so you want to stay present okay and you want to recite those affirmations when you get up okay instead of getting up and first thing you do you you scroll into TikTok to see the latest drama, the latest fight on there, the latest comedy skit on there. Okay, put on some motivational. Okay, record something yourself. Go to bed listening to it. You know what I'm saying? All of those things are very, very, very powerful. And I guarantee you, if you can get consistent, the main, listen, <clears throat> the herbs are not going to heal you. The exercise is not going to heal you. The mental uh, capacity is not going to heal you. The meditation is not going to heal you. But what's going to heal you in all of this is the consistency in doing these things, okay? Okay, we're not talking about doing these things Monday and Friday and then you fall off the rest of the week. We're talking about you staying consistent in your walk. And if you and if you do, you'll see that a lot of different areas, a lot of different areas in your life will start to change and start to get better. You will attract better things to yourself. And one of them, of course, is optimal health, okay? Yes, I, and, and just to add on to that, um, you know, when you talk about uh, those affirmations and speaking those words in that manner, that's feeding yourself, right? So it's not just about feeding yourself fruit, right? It's about feeding yourself that fruit of life, whatever those words are, right? That word right. or that energy that you can feed yourself in order to, to elevate yourself to a point where you are becoming healthier. Um, yeah, I mean, I totally agree with everything that you're saying with respect to that because it does not work alone. I mean, we, we have all of these tools. Uh, I know one of the things that I've noticed is that, look, uh, I feel a whole lot better just mm. on every level. And I'm open, to, um, I'm open to more abundance. Like I recognize what's available to me and I recognize my influence and my power when it comes to speaking life into my own life and to the lives of my friends and family, you know, along with the workout that I do daily, I also do a daily message uh, that I post on my IG, just as uh, just as an exercise in feeding myself in terms of you know whatever words I need to feed myself, but also okay. to uh, also to put that into the world so that we can help each other. Okay, let me let me ask you a question. So, what uh, what advice would you have for somebody out there who feels like you know what I don't I don't have it together? You know the pandemic. I made me gain all of this weight. I don't feel inspired. It's hard for me to want to get up and go to the gym or just get in the backyard and do a few exercises. What uh, type of words would you have for a person like that? I would say one step at a time. Mm, baby steps. Baby steps. So, mm. brother, when we, when we started this walk, I was literally walking. We were doing two miles. We did up to four to see the sunrise. And by the time I would get home, I could not walk up the steps. <laughs> mm, <laughs> like right. the first day, I couldn't walk up the steps. However, getting started is what's important. So mm. step after step, you know, theoretically going, you know, one move after one move, the movement, just keep the movement going because about, about two months in, I was running. Where I couldn't mm. walk, I was running. Mm -hmm. So. What my, what my word of advice is, is number one, to get started. Number two, give yourself grace. But number three, just keep moving. Don't stop moving. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, one thing that you said 
uh, you said, you know, it's hard for you to get up the steps and all that type of stuff. You, you first started walking. And that's right. So <clears throat> baby steps count, too. That's one of the models we have on here is that the baby steps count, too. And it's just like <clears throat> when it comes to working out, if you if it's difficult for you to do, try this. OK, this is how I got started, you know, and doing just the little things It's like instead of you thinking about how hard it is or why you can't do it, because remember, all of this stuff is really just mental. OK, say this to yourself. I celebrate what my body can do. OK, yes. say that I celebrate what my body can do. So even if it's just you taking 10 to 15 steps, OK, 20 steps, 30 steps, making it halfway around the track. OK, you satisfied with that. You celebrated what your body could do. And each day it's going to get, you know, this is how we start the wheel with it moving and keep moving and keep it moving. OK, but definitely you definitely want to train your mind to know that you can do it because the the truth about it is the body is a lot more powerful than we deem it to be. Okay? Yes. There have been so many stories where the doctor say, hey, you won't walk again, or hey, you won't do this, or you won't do that for the rest of your life. And people have defeated those odds. Okay? People have yeah, defeated those odds. You got to be proactive. Defeated. For sure. And you have to believe, right? Right. So um, you got to know that you can look at this, you can look at this mountain and move the mountain. <laughs> You got to know where, that this that this power that you have inside of you is something that can truly catapult you to where you want to be. I totally believe that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all about our energy and aligning ourselves properly. Like even this conversation that we're having right now, this is, I feel like this is a result of that, right? This is a result of being in a space to be able to receive what the universe has to offer, right? And, right. and, and it's aligning properly with, with my healing and and the healing that I'm sharing with others, right? That's how I see this. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. Definitely. And, um, you know, I talk about taking those baby steps. <laughs> and I literally mean, like, just do what you can. Celebrate what mm -hmm. your body can. You know, me having uh, been diagnosed with congestive heart failure five, six years ago, if you've ever had a heart disease, heart failure, you know that it's hard to move, like, you know what I'm saying? You can walk literally five, 10 steps. You'll be literally out of breath, okay? It's, it's very, very serious. So <clears throat> even if you're in that type of position and you commit yourself to taking as many steps as you can before you feel like, <sighs> you about, we're gonna clap our hands for that, okay? And then the next day, you're gonna do a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, okay? And that's yeah. how you do it. They're staying consistent in your walk, and it's not always easy. Sometimes you're going to fall off. Is there going to be times where you miss a day? Yes, there might be days when you miss a day. But the key to it is how long are you going to sit on your back pockets, okay, yeah. versus getting back up and getting back in the game. Okay, that's hey, the key Jay, to you it. Mentioned, you mentioned something earlier that I think fits in a lot of aspects of our lives where you mm -hmm. mentioned to Crystal, uh, Sherelle, I think, you said, look, okay. it took you all these years to get to this point. It's not, no change is going to happen overnight. Right? right. And I feel like that's extremely powerful to know that, look, if you're in this physical condition right now, it didn't happen overnight. So the change that's is going to happen overnight. So those right. baby steps matter, right? The, the, the wherewithal and, and the audacity that you have to take a step forward matters. So just take that first step. Okay. Uh, we got a comment from Erica Smith. She said, how do I motivate myself without my trainer? I feel like I became dependent on my trainer. I do great when he is there, but I lack motivation when I have to train independently. Well, um, you, you want to, you can answer that first. I'll answer it. I have an answer for it. So I, the reason why I share my workout on IG is because I see all of you as my accountability partner. Right. Mm. So if I'm not showing up, uh, not only am I not uh, not only am I letting myself down, I'm letting all of you down. That mm. motivation is something that I'm not able to provide to you. Right. The motivation is something that you would have to develop for yourself based on whatever your goals are and whatever you're looking to accomplish with respect to your your own fitness. So in order to motivate yourself, I mean, what are you really doing this for, right? Are you mm -hmm. doing it for vanity reasons? 
Are you doing mm. it for your family? Are you doing it to get a, a, a different position in life? Like those are, that's the fuel. So mm. determine what your fuel is, fill up on that fuel and your motivation will be right there. Mm. I like that. I definitely like that. Um, I would say as far as the motivation, the inspiration for me is simple. I always say, <laughs> we don't really need that. What we need is discipline. When you discipline, you don't need the motivation or the inspiration. You're going to do it because you know it needs to be done. Yep. That's it. So we got to yeah, get more Jay, my, Yeah, my, uh, my mom says that all the time. Discipline, discipline, discipline. That's what it is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, let me see. Um, okay, Erica said, thank you. Thank you, Erica. Thank you all for joining us. Um, so what else, what else what, what can we talk about, man? What else do you have oh, going man. on? Well, uh, I'm going to see my doctor today. I turned 50 in January. So today oh, okay. is the checkup. Uh, I okay. encourage all of, all brothers, all black men, uh, to go to the doctor, uh, get yourself checked out. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm doing something actually, which, uh, I'm pretty nervous about doing today. And that's, uh, I'll be getting a prostate exam today. <laughs> so mm, the okay. idea of what, of what that means, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of intimidating. However, I know that this is the point in my life where that's important to do. So right. uh, I've taken that to, um, I've taken that frame of mind and with that understanding, I'm going to do that today. Uh, yeah. So that's really what I'm on. So this journey is, this journey never ends, right? So I'm not at an end point. I have a goal for myself with, with respect to my weight, but this isn't something that I'll be stopping. Um, and you mentioned, you know, you can take a day off. Uh, there are days I get up and I don't want to do it. And what I've found is those days that I don't do it, I can feel it, right? I can, I know that I've missed something. So it's better to stay on than to take off, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a, I'm about you know, again, uh, being gangster holistic, like from that perspective, I love that being gangster with your health. So that's really what my approach is. Um, and that's a great way to put it. Just there is no, there's no stopping, you know, keep pushing, uh, and, and understand that at the, along this journey, we just keep getting better and we keep getting stronger. Right. Right. Okay. We got a few questions. Uh, Eric Smith said, how do you avoid or limit your fast food intake. Discipline. <laughs> Discipline. That's, that's it. Hey, and and uh also like that you mentioned the fruit is is the best source of water. And I'm I'm taking that advantage. That's one thing that I haven't been doing a lot of. However, I drink a gallon of water every day, a gallon of alkaline water every day. So uh limiting the fast food intake is shoot, don't go to McDonald's. You ever notice how <laughs> easy it is to get a burger? <laughs> It's like it's a drive through It's always long. For some reason, it's always ninety nine cent. Like you really got to ask yourself, uh, like what, what's what value is that, right? Like is that really a great value? <laughs> a ninety nine right. cent burger? What's up with that? So that's what I would. That's what I would. Uh, that's what I would say to that. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunny's Galaxy said, "Thank you for sharing these ways to move forward with making changes. No doubt, Sunny, we appreciate you for being here." Uh, she says she's picking our brain. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Thank you for everybody who just joined. All right. All right. So let me say this one thing um, too, is that some people, <coughs> excuse me, depending on what position you are in as far as your health, some people have less wiggle room than others. Okay. Some people you in a situation to where you don't have no wiggle room. You can't be playing around with this stuff, you know? You may think you got, uh, like I said, we always we always think we got more time than we actually do, you know? And um, some people, like I said, you don't have too much wiggle room. So you need to be on the straight and narrow with getting yourself together. <clears throat> Another thing I want to mention, too, about the lady who was talking about her trainer and stuff like that. A lot of times we always want validation. I'm not saying this is her case, but... A lot of times we already we want somebody else to validate what we already know we need to do. You know right. what I'm saying? If you got you a trainer and you're working out, then you know that you need that. So why not do it when, I, when he's not there? You know what I'm saying? You 
you save us save a little bit of cash too you know what i'm saying so it's just like right. you know a lot of times we want people to validate what we already know you know what i'm saying okay all right big homie drip in the building okay 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 fox hair and skin hello 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 how are you okay okay so what um are you selling anything brother talk to us uh well i don't know if you can see my shirt here it's a tribe car fit shirt right okay here. Uh, if you hit the link on my uh, IG profile, uh, uh, it'll be a Linktree link. You can go make a purchase of those shirts. Uh, I'm working on a book also with respect to my journey. And, man, I'm just asking uh, if, if I'm selling anything, I'm selling good vibes right now, along with the shirts. Go buy the shirts. But I'm selling good vibes and good energy to the people uh, so that we can get better, yo. I mean, right now we're in a real interesting space when it comes to how the universe is reacting to us and how the world is. So it is imperative and it is important for us to get healthy mentally, mm. physically, and spiritually. Mm. Mm. I agree. I agree. It's no time like uh no time like the present people. And like I said, we got all different this is twenty twenty two. You got so many different outlets. You got all kind of people on social media. That's helping you, you know, we, we're not the only, it's not the only page that teach about health. So many different pages that teach about health, consciousness, spirituality, meditation. It's like, take some time to start learning that type of stuff. Uh, take some time to work on yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, self-care. Um, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I have brought this, uh, this little detox that I'm doing for the next probably month and a half. I have brought this in and it comes with, just a plethora of things, like so many different herbs, tinctures, powders, just all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. And it's a lot of preparation. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of preparation that goes into it. And so I was thinking to myself, like, man, this is a lot, you know? But at the same time, that's a part of self-care. You know, self-care, it take a little bit of time, but it's, it, it's worth it because in the long yeah. run, you're doing something ultimately that's going to be conducive for your health, be conducive for, you know, your growth, okay? You know, that's yep. even like what you're talking about, doing a weight loss, um, you know, the weight loss thing. Um, when you're doing weight loss, it's, it's important sometimes to meal prep and make your meals ahead of time. Can that be a lot of work? Yeah, but that's self-care. That's yep. you take care of yourself. You know, okay. it's funny that you say that because, that's actually one of the reasons why I don't juice as much anymore because I hate cleaning up a juice. <laughs> <laughs> it is the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> yeah, however, I got I got to get back on it. But like you say, I mean, it's going to take nah, that time. You know what? It's going to be easy. <laughs> this been sitting here since yesterday. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> I did not feel like cleaning it. I had to clean it today, but... I totally, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, you know, it can be, um, it can be some work. It definitely can mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Definitely can be some work. Okay. Um, so before we get out of here, let's see if anybody got any more questions, comments real quick <clears throat> before we uh, wrap this thing up. Man, anybody thank got you to everybody who joined. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Make sure you drink your water. Make sure you get that Gangsta Holistic Black Sheet Experience, that GMOS, that's the Gangsta Holistic CMOS, and our Get Low High Blood Pressure Tea. Once again, that Get Low High Blood Pressure Tea, you can find that on the link in the bio. Click in the link, you can take it, it'll take you to all our products. But go ahead and get that stuff because we know you need it. Over 64% of African Americans suffer from high blood pressure. Okay? All right, okay, all right. So, uh, any last words you got for the people before I go ahead and, and close this whole thing on out, man? Yeah, this just came up like in terms of, I'm in a space right now where I'm just sharing what comes up. Take some time for yourself today and just mm -hmm. be silent. Mm -hmm. Get off social media today and be silent with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Take some account for yourself. It's really important we give a lot of our time and our energy to others, to our jobs, and we forget mm. about ourselves, and that's how we lose. Mm. You mm. are important. You mm. are important. And we mm. need you here 
We need you here for this transformation and this shift. So that's what I want to share with everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to see myself here on, on Gangsta Holistic. I think it was awesome. Thank you so much, Jay, for this invite. Uh, no if doubt. If you're on here and you're, not, and you're not following me, please follow me. Make sure, uh, if you're one of my followers, make sure to follow Gangsta Holistic. Let's make this a movement and just keep it going. And black men, let's take care of ourselves and let's show our sisters some love consistently. There you go. There you go. So people, just like you said, you know, <clears throat> it's time for you to start walking in your faith and walking in knowing who you are and, you know, your true purpose and all of that type of stuff. Um, if something is not working with you uh, physically, spiritually, mentally, when I say not working with you, if there's a, some type of pull there, you're not happy, that means because it's not for you. OK, that means it's simple. That is just not for you. So find your purpose because guess what? The rest of the world, the rest of us, are we sitting back? We're sitting back waiting on you to come with your piece to fit in this puzzle. Okay? We're waiting, yeah. we're waiting for you. We're waiting for you like, man, when are you going to write that book? When are you going to do this? When are you going to start teaching that? So you can make this world a better place because ultimately that's the goal. Forget everything else. Okay? Ultimately the goal is to make this world a better place. So what part do you play in that? Okay? Is it teaching people about health? Is it teaching the kids? Is it you... Uh, I don't know. Is, is, is it you cleaning up? Is it you playing the piano? Is it you just whatever it is? Walk in your uh, your true purpose and who you truly are. Okay, very very important. All right. So real quick about the end, <clears throat> the show, as I always do with the call, the gangster holistic ode to self, which is just like an affirmation. You know, you guys can come back, rewind it, write it down. You know what I'm saying, and you can repeat it. Okay. It goes like this. With each gift that is bestowed upon me, allow me to hold on to gratitude. My mind is in control of my body. My feet are planted in the overabundant waters of prosperity. Shower me with selflessness. Balance me with an ultimate love for myself. Ensure my mind stays intact, holding on to all knowledge I've acquired, as well as the humility to admit when I do not know. My thirst for something new hmm, is satisfied. Never concerned with the opinions of others, I am a part of that spark that changes the world by staying consistently me. All right? And when I say consistently me, <laughs> I always say this. That, mean, that doesn't mean you got to stay the same all the time. You can change from week to week, day to day, minute to minute, hour to hour. Be open to information. Be open to challenging what your, what your train of thought is at this present moment. Okay, that's the only way that we ele elevate. Don't be closed off. Be open. Receive, okay? And most of all, start listening more, all right? Yeah. All right, yeah. so people, that's pretty much it. Uh, we got one last question. How do we transfer our discipline from work and school and apply it to the gym? How do we transfer our discipline from work and school. Well, that's the thing. Think about that. Discipline from work. You're going to show up when somebody giving you a paycheck, but you're not going to show up for yourself. That don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? We could be on time every single day to work when somebody giving us a paycheck. What about showing up for yourself? Okay. Because yep. in the end, who's more important, your job or you? Okay. So there we go. All right. All right, y'all. So peace and love. Uh, F20 said, thank you, brothers, for sharing. Thank you all for being a part of the live. Uh, catch us back soon. Um, I'm trying to think who we got on next. We got some great guests coming on next. I don't, we have, a, there's, there's a few of them. I'm not sure when they're coming on, but we do have a, uh, some great guests coming on. Make sure you guys follow precise underscore shy. Precise under, underscore shy. He's doing some great things, and I guarantee you, if you follow the brother, you will be motivated to start moving your body, okay? And then a lot of times, especially when you get older in age, it's like it don't really take a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not moving as much as we were when we were teenagers anyway, okay? Right. So this brother tell you, you know what I'm saying? He doing this, doing that. Make sure you go follow him, all right? Peace and love, y'all. We out of here. Gangsta Peace. Host.